the earthquake was in Buzzards Bay, uh, off of the coast of Dartmouth, uh, south of New Bedford, and uh, underneath the water in the in, in the rock between the the islands and and the South Shore. A three point six is a, is a is a good shake, especially for people near the epicenter. They probably hear a loud uh, rumbling noise, shakes for five, 10, maybe 15 seconds in, in some places. Uh, the earthquake was felt all the way up into uh, Southern New Hampshire, as far west as, as uh, Hartford, uh, Connecticut, and uh, well below the threshold of damage, which is around magnitude five. Well, certainly there's a possibility for aftershocks and, and typically the largest aftershock is about an order of magnitude smaller than the main shock. So if a magnitude 2.5 or so earthquake occurred in the next few days, wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, would not be felt nearly as far as, as the earthquake this morning, but uh, people right along the South Shore would probably feel a, a quick jolt and shake and maybe hear a boom. There is also a chance that this could be followed by a larger earthquake, but the chance is very, very small. Um, no more than a few to maybe 5% chance. A magnitude 3.6 earthquake is on average about a once a year earthquake somewhere in New England. If it's in Northern Maine, of course, we here in Massachusetts don't pay attention to it. This one obviously being in Massachusetts, affecting Rhode Island, Connecticut, everyone in Southern New England pays attention to it. Uh, at the smaller magnitude level, we get a couple earthquakes uh, per month that we detect from somewhere in the New England region. So magnitude 1.5 to two, a couple per month, magnitude 3.6, uh, once per year. We are in the middle of the North American tectonic plate. We're spreading away from Europe, Europe and Africa. The plate is colliding at the San Andreas Fault and other faults in California. Uh, we're caught in a squeezing in the center of the plate. And every now and then that squeezing caused creaks and cracks that we feel as our earthquakes. But we're much less frequent in terms of earthquake activity than they have in California.